Uh, first of all, thank you for all uh, coming on a, uh, a windy and uh, nicely rainy uh, Canberra day. I, uh, I want to talk to you about the allegations, obviously the allegations in uh, this morning's newspapers. Firstly, CDF and I became, first became aware of these allegations when they appeared this morning in the newspapers. Secondly, as soon as I heard about these allegations, as soon as I became aware of these allegations, I instructed the head of the Defence Security Authority to conduct an investigation. That investigation is underway. I've asked that an interim report be prepared as soon as possible, and I've asked that the full report be available, be presented to me within a week. Thirdly, these are very serious allegations. I've looked at them carefully today, as has the CDF. Let me say to you that I have seen no information to suggest there is substance to any of the allegations. Let me say this. The Chief of the Defence Force and I have a very close and good working relationship with the Minister for Defence and with his office. I would go so far to say that it is a closer working relationship than most CDFs and secretaries have, uh, have had with their ministers. CDF and I will, of course, continue to work closely with the minister and we will work with him and his office to ensure full accountability uh, of this matter. Uh, the minister's uh, personal relationships uh, are the matter for the, for the minister. They're certainly not a matter for, uh, for the Department of Defence. And let's just say, these, these events aside, these particular events aside, are there any circumstances in this country where defence intelligence officers could legitimately, secretly investigate the defence minister? Could that ever happen legitimately? No. Uh, thank you very much.